Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, we'll be looking at function machines and how to calculate the output value. And of course, for question two, we'll be trying to figure out the input value. So without further ado, I would like you guys to pause this video and have a go at each of these five problems here and five problems below and see what results you get. Otherwise, walk me, otherwise you can watch me complete this whole video and um, yeah, we can do this together. So let's have a go. So number one, use the function machine to complete the table below. So here we're giving our, our input, which is x, and firstly they want us to multiply by 4, then subtract 1, and this will give us our output. So let's try the first example. Let's plug in 5. So here we've got 5 times 4, which will give us 20. Take away 1 will give us 19. So our input for the very first one is going to be 19. Now next one. Let's put in 10. So we've got 10 times 4 is 40. Take away 1 is 39. So nice, easy. Half. Half times 4 is 2, so that means half of 4 is 2. 2 take away 1 is 1. If you put x is 15, we've got 15 times 4 is 60. 60 take away 1 is 59. Not bad. Now minus 2. So we've got minus 2 times 4, which is minus 8. Minus 8 take away 1 will give us a minus 9. So a nice negative 9. Alright, excellent guys. So that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Now, let's look at number two. So use the following function machine backwards to find the values of x in the table. So here, instead of following the pattern like we did earlier, we're going to be doing it in reverse. Because we have values of y here, we need to find the original input value from the output. Now, to think of this carefully, let's see what happens. How do we do, how do, we do the backwards process? From y, if we're going to go back, instead of plus and 2, we're going to now subtract 2. And instead of uh, multiplying by 3, we're going to do, we're going to now divide 3. And this should give us our new value. So, to make this life easier as well, we're going to put this process down here. So we're going to say, from y, the very first step you're going to do is to subtract 2. And the next one is to divide 3. And this should give us our x. Okay, so hopefully this is quite clear, guys. You just follow this process. So, what do we have? So, from y, let's put an a first. From 8, we're going to subtract 2, which is 6. And then 6 divided by 3 will give us 2. Now, for if you put y is 11, so you've got 11 minus 2, which is 9. 9 divided by 3 is uh, 3. And then we just carry this on. So, 14. 14 take away 2 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So it just looks like it's going up in ascending order. Now 35, nah, it stops right here. So you got 35 take away 2, which is 33. 33 divided by 3 should give us a nice 11. And finally, guys, to wrap this up, when we plug in y is 2, you get 2, 2 take away 2 is nothing. Nothing divided by literally anything. In this case, 3 is still nothing. And that's it, guys. You know, I hope this video helped. Please share this to your friends, and if you enjoy this, um, please give me a like, okay? Otherwise, um, I'd appreciate any nice comments, and um, in general, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And other than that, I shall see you in the next videos, and ciao.